Ready? Yes. What's going on everyone? Aaron and I got some pretty awesome fishing reel power knobs that we're gonna be trying out today. 15 bucks. Uh, this is just something that we found on Amazon. This is like the most common one that we see everywhere. Right. So, I mean, I've, I've had mine for about a year now and it looks like this. It's in good condition still. For me personally, and I know Brendan hates this, like reeling like this doesn't feel yeah. right. I yeah. want the whole thing in my hand and it fits really well in your hand. And when you reel it in, you know, it just, you have feel a better connection with the rod. Really easy installation um, and it, it's, it's a very universal thing. It can fit in a lot of different uh, reels. We'll include a link in the description below, right. but uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna be doing a little bit of light fishing here. Uh, hopefully catch some dinner, bring hopefully, it home and cook yeah. it, yeah. So usually we arrive at our fishing spot an hour or two before the actual good tide just so that we can scope it out we can check the depths. We can kind of get used to uh, the environment. And this is this is a very common spot that we've been going to here in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, so, what I liked, what I've discovered is that one of my devices, the deeper sonar finder, has an application called um, Lake, Lake Book. Book. And with Lake Book, you can you can kind of chart out like a map, a depth map of of all the areas you fish. Um, this way. It really helps me kind of visualize where the holes are, what depths am I fishing, and this is very necessary to help me set the depths of my uh, my, my float rig. Right. Uh, otherwise, I would have to do you manually try and locate it, right. uh, which takes time. So let's map that out really quick. Yeah, let's map it out real quick. All right. So for when you're casting from shore, use this one. Okay. So now I'm mapping everything out. Uh, as I pull the deeper through, it'll it'll show the depths on this map and um, I'm building a topography map on this, mm -hmm. like a depth chart. So the more I cast, the more detail it'll show. Almost 10, yep, 10, 10 feet. feet here. Wow, that's a steep job. Wow, so this is like not even far off, okay. Whoa. Oh, we're marking fish down there at that's 11 the... feet. We're marking what a lot of fish down there. That's really cool. Yes. Wow, so that's actually like a really deep channel. Oh my goodness, yeah, I with really want to cast Fish really now. deep there, okay. Let's give that a chance. Okay, so 11 feet down. On. That's nice a keeper. One. Let me grab the tape measure. There we go. And that was in that deep pocket we were looking at earlier. Yeah. Nice. Circle hook doing his job. 17. 17. 17, keeper. Yay! Dinner. Give it a kiss. Ooh, it has teeth. Ooh. So what do you think about the reel? Or like the, the knob so No, far? no, what do you think? I've been using mine for a year. Okay, true, I love it. I wish that I could catch some fish. Like I keep missing fish and that's frustrating to me. I'm, I don't think it's because of the knob though. I think it's because of me. I like how this feels. It's a nice one. Nice job, you want to measure it? Maybe 14? Yeah, let's release it. Oh my god, look at this huge shrimp. Something's gotta bite this one, okay? Yeah, really? Ow! Stab you? Yeah. Ow! I've been scared of them since they stabbed you last time. Right, right through the head. Alright, I don't know why I'm feeding the fish. I should just feed myself this, honestly. Look at that shrimp. Oh. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a big one. Woo. 
All right, here we go. Big old trout. Nice. Woo, big old fat trout. 18, Eight, 17 and a half. All right, let's keep it. Now, if you do plan on keeping fish, for one, make sure it's legal to keep. For two, make sure you're gonna eat it or you know someone who's going to eat it. Don't keep fish if you're gonna waste it. So for me, I just keep what I'm gonna eat for this day or the next day. I don't, I don't keep a whole bunch of fish and freeze it. All right, so the fish weren't biting crazy today. It's not every time we go out and we stumble upon a feeding frenzy, mm -hmm. uh, but we were able to hit dinner. Yeah. We caught a 17-inch trout, yeah. and we're gonna cook that up. Let's go do that. We're gonna go cook it up right now. Yeah. Come follow us. All right, we stopped by this, this shrimp boat right here, and uh, we picked up some fresh local shrimp. We're gonna eat some of that with the, with the, the trout that we caught. I still haven't decided how I'm cooking that yet. I'm hungry, though. Some big shrimp. There's some big shrimp. Yeah, these are pretty big. Here is the fish from earlier. Take a look. Salted, dried out. Um, I find that salt brining it before you eat it, putting salt on it as soon as you get home, it really include it, it improves the quality of the meat. Um, so I'm gonna do something really simple. I've cut up some onions here. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the stomach area right here, right? I'm just gonna stuff the stomach full of it. And then we're gonna put some lemon. All right, so the inside is stuffed with that. Put some onions around it, just like this. And then we're gonna melt some butter and just bake it. Mm. Oh man, this is gonna be good. This is the keto diet, everyone. <laughs> Let's see how that works out. These are nice ice shrimps. And they're pretty fresh too. Yeah, they're fresh. We're gonna do this in a really simple way. I am tired, I don't wanna do anything fancy. Just put in butter, pop, and garlic. Now? Yeah, because they're gonna get not crispy anymore. So Chinese we do it this way You fry the whole thing up So it's crispy and then you eat the shell and everything Mmm crunchy A lot of the flavors is actually in the shell Mmm mm -hmm. You like it like that? It's really good very crispy. Butter fried. Yeah. Mm. Tail. Legs. Who else eats it like that? Comment below. You're my shrimp boy right here, okay? You're I love shrimp. shrimp. Really love shrimp. 
You hear that crunch? That snap? Dang. Aaron, Aaron's a little weirded out by this still. <laughs> I eat everything pretty much, but I'm so hesitant. Yep. Are you shaking? Are you are you shaking? Why would I be shaking? Oh, I don't know. And then you just eat it like this? Yep, just eat it. With the legs? Yeah, so the legs. Okay, okay. Wait, okay. Wait, look. See how crunchy those legs are? Have you had, it's like tarantula legs. Have you had tarantula legs before? Have you had tarantula legs before? No, but it's what I would imagine. All right, here like. I go. It's good, it's crunchy. I know, I told you. Mm. Good, huh? It's delicious. Mmm, mmm, it's so juicy. Mmm. It's good. Recommend? Would recommend to a friend. That looks awesome. That looks awesome. That looks good. How's it look? That looks righteous, bro. Just gotta be okay with eating a little bone sometime. Eating around the bones. I'm drooling. Oh man, this looks good. Mmm, let's eat. This looks great. Oh, I'm definitely ready. Mmm. It's lean meat. It's lean white meat. Mmm. Mm. That tastes nice. It's good protein. I like yeah. it. But I can say right off the bat, I like pompano better. <laughs> the pompano tastes way better to me. Uh, this is like lean. This is like what I would consider like fat-free meat. Mm. Fat-free. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. I would describe it more as like stringy. Mm-hmm. Chewy. Yeah, and chewy. It's white meat, like, 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 like a chicken breast. Yes, yeah. it tastes mm -hmm. like chicken. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like the consistency of like chicken. Mm. Tastes great, it's not super fishy. Yeah, well, it's because, first of all, I bled it out the second I got it, right? Then I cleaned it and gut it and salted it for like half a day. Right. So the meat has a lot of, already has, you know, it's been seasoned already. Right. My grandma would probably like this fish. Why do you say that? She loves any kind of fish. <laughs> my God, what a great meal. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for joining us. I'm gonna finish my meal. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.